Our favourite guilty pleasure beer is the oldest recipe in the world. The first documented recipe was by the ancient Egyptians around 5000 BC. The pharaohs would direct the brewing process and give it out to the masses. Beer then made its way across the Middle East to Europe where it became an important part of daily life. In Northern Europe they had a plentiful supply of hops which provided the raw ingredients for brewers. Beer was important for its nutritional value and it was also a lot safer to drink than water which was contaminated with human waste. It's now the Middle Ages and modern beer was born. Ale was the most popular drink throughout the Middle Ages. Hops were not used though for bitterness until 1150 when German monks began using wild hops for this purpose and as a natural preservative. Monks now became the top brewers in the Middle Ages with almost all monasteries having an on-site brewery. They have been credited with inventing lagering and also cold storing to improve the flavours. Throughout history, women were predominantly brewers. The word alewives was first recorded in 1393 and means any woman who brewed and sold ale dating back to the beginning of recorded history. Women brewed and sold most of the ale consumed in medieval England, but after 1350, men slowly took over the trade. Countries like Germany and Belgium, and even our finest shores, became the centre for brewing. Many of our familiar styles today, like porters, pale ales and stouts, have their beginnings in Britain, and have been brewed for hundreds of years. In the UK during the Middle Ages, you'd probably start your day off having a beer with breakfast, and then head into work. The beer that people used to drink was known as small beer, the alcohol was only 2.8% and the reason why beer became so popular was mainly because it was full of calories and their jobs required a lot of energy. Small beer has been described as being unfiltered and even having the same consistency as porridge. The British Army even gave beer rations to the troops. When we civilised more than half the planet, the Royal Navy delivered beer to the troops around the globe. IPA was created to enable this long transport without it going stale, as high alcohol and hop content extended its life. Beer then arrived in the US with the first Europeans, and according to the documents of the pilgrims, they landed at Plymouth Rock as they ran out of beer. The first structure they even built was a brewery, and the US has been brewing ever since. Up until the middle of the 1800s, all beer was English style ales, but this soon changed with the introduction of Pilsner style lagers, typically of Germany. Beer production went up to new heights in the US, all up until the Prohibition era took hold between 1920 to 1933. It became illegal to consume all alcohol, and even breweries were prevented from selling their brews on their own premises up until the 1970s. After the Prohibition, brand loyalty became eroded, and it was brews like Budweiser that could now mass produce cheap beer became very popular. The rest, as they say, is history. <laughs>